Today I will discuss about eye flow and its management. Eye flow is the inflammation of conjunctiva of the eye thus called conjunctivitis. Conjunctiva is a transparent layer around the cornea and looks white in color because the underneath structures that is sclera which is white in color. During any infection like flu conjunctival blood vessels are also inflamed or sometimes leaks blood which gives the appearance of pink eye or red eye eye flu is mostly viral infection but may also bacterial or allergic origin now clinical presentation symptoms what patient says patient may complain about the pain redness watering photophobia and lid swelling signs what physician finds eyelid edema it ranges from negligible to severe lymphadenopathy it is common and tender preauricular conjunctival hyperemia due to inflamed blood vessels follicles these are round collections of lymphocytes often most prominent in the inferior fornix subconjunctival hemorrhage due to leakage of blood from conjunctival blood vessels in severe infection superficial punctate keratitis when cornea is involved initially epithelial microcyst that is non staining then punctate epithelial keratitis may occur usually 7 to 10 days of the onset of symptoms now how to differentiate between viral bacterial and allergic conjunctivitis congestion in bacterial origin the congestion will be generalized all over the conjunctiva there will be congestion but in the peripheral area it will be more prominent and in viral origin it will be circumciliary around the cornea there will be congestion more as compared to peripheral in allergic origin the congestion is mostly localized discharge in bacterial origin discharge is purulent or mucopurulent in viral origin and allergic origin it will be watery papillae in bacterial origin papillae are present in viral origin there is no papillae and in allergic origin mostly papillae are present follicles follicles are mostly seen in viral origin in bacterial and allergic follicles are rarely seen preauricular lymph node in bacterial origin generally present in viral origin mostly present in allergic origin absent now investigations investigations are costly and time consuming and as it's self limiting in nature makes the investigation unnecessary here are few investigations that can be done now management of eye flu spontaneous resolution usually it is self limiting within 5 to 7 days and does not need any treatment but to avoid secondary bacterial infections and other complications below measures can be followed a reduction of transmission risks washing hands after touching the eyes avoiding eye rubbing avoid sharing towel and other personal belongings avoid handshake staying home and having healthy foods b prophylactic antibiotics to prevent secondary bacterial infections antibiotics can be used eye drops and ointment both are available eye drops initially 2 hourly for 2 to 3 days and then 6 hourly for 7 to 10 days eye ointment generally advised at night daily c symptomatic treatment artificial tears four times daily may be useful for symptomatic relief and reduce transmission risk cold compresses for symptomatic relief topical antihistamines and vasoconstrictors may improve symptoms particularly itching stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly